is time to Okay, what do we got here? Game of Thrones? It's a little scary. I don't recognize who this is. These guys are crazy. Kind of boy band meets metal in my build my Nice cats, nice cats. This guy's having a fit over the computer on his table. I like the music. This is my daughter's speed. These guys are scary. I'm not overwhelmed with this. Oh, cool. His costumes are pretty interesting. Okay. Wow. Lucky me. Can you tell from the look in our eyes? Well, that's a beautiful scene. We live our lives and we're ready to die. We're ready to die. Sounds like he's getting electrocuted. Out in the snow. <laughs> Very creative. You're gonna freeze. Put your jacket on. Listen to your mother. The singing is terrible. <laughs> How that voice comes out of that slender young man like that, you know, it's like, wow. It's interesting. How can I call that music? I don't get it at all. This is Man, the screaming. It's more of a nightmare than a, than a music video. What is you saying, man? As far as what he's uh, screaming and saying, I'm not catching it. He's just tired out, poor thing. Yeah, I'd be exhausted too. I don't dislike it, but I don't like the kind of angry feeling in it. Love is blind. Love is blind. Okie doke. That we have some breaking news. And f***ing dumb. <laughs> blind, deaf, and f***ing dumb. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh my god, what the f You're not supposed to shoot the dog! That's disgusting. Telling you, you're all I need. I promise you. Oh! Ew! <laughs> Zombie! This is a sick video. So you can drag me through hell. Yeah, you're pretty much in hell there, kid. A lot of death and destruction. The world is going to hell. Oh, this is just terrible. So you can drag me through hell. If he's so happy about it. Look at him. Apocalypse, but he's pretty happy about it. And you can throw me to the flames. Oh, he's there to pick up his date. Oh, he's in love with the zombie. <laughs> He's gonna be zombieized. Okay. That one was horrible. Well, it's true hardcore rock. And for fans who love it, I think it's great. So what did you think of what you just heard? I would listen to it just to keep my mind open to, to what's happening now. The first two I like because they were very, very hardcore rock. I like the song, Go Through Hell to Get to You. It's okay, not my type of music. Terrible.
absolutely terrible. It's too harsh. It's too angry. It's been done before. There's nothing original about it. I couldn't understand the music or the words. It's not like music for my generation. And what do you think about the music videos? <laughs> They're absolutely ridiculous. They're even worse, <laughs> especially the last one. The last one was so gory. I know you shouldn't say this about heavy metal or whatever, but they were pretty. And I like the one that was filmed in the snow, especially, and using the flares and all that. I think a lot of the musicians, the young musicians today, feel they have to shock you. You didn't always have to do that to make some good music. Do you have any idea who this band is? No. Nope. No idea? No, no whatsoever. Who are they? This band is called Bring Me the Horizon. OK. I bet my daughter, I, I can't wait to ask her if she's heard of them. The music was initially described as metal, but specifically deathcore, sometimes metalcore. Metalcore, never heard of it, but uh, OK. Do you consider this to be music? Yeah, of course. It's all music, whether I like it or not. It might not be my music always, but it's music. No. Nope. No. To me, it's just a lot of noise and commotion. There's just no tune to it, just screaming. That's not music. I mean, maybe kids like that today, but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like that. The band has been quoted as saying they look to evolve and change their sound over their careers. Can you talk about the differences between each song we showed you, or does it not seem that different to you? No, there is no difference. I didn't notice much change. It all sounded terrible. There was a, t a little change there. The zombie video seemed a little bit softer. It shows that they can be crazy and wild and yet they have a softer side to them. The band in the early days had some rumors circulating about them inciting fights at their concerts or even peeing on fans. <laughs> been done. Nothing new there, sex pistol people. To getting so drunk at shows they would vomit on stage and more. Oh, God. Neat. Oh, jeez. So stuff. What do you think when you hear that? Terrible. Obnoxious. I think it's absolutely horrible. I think it's really unnecessary. I mean, it, you're up there to perform your music. Makes no sense at all. There's other things they could do. Good things, positive things, stupid things like that. Uh -uh. Shock value, they, the kids like that. It's no different than when they used to break their guitars. I think it's all part part of uh, entertainment. Didn't Ozzy butt the heads of birds? Call up Ozzy Osbourne and check with him for gnarly, you know? But this is just like... I think it's just kind of silly. So some more info for you. Bring Me the Horizon has been around for over a decade now. Wow, they must have started when they were babies. They've even said that they aren't really doing metalcore as they don't listen to that type of music anymore. What do you think the band's longtime fans might think about that? I don't I don't know how they think. Well, they're going to get older, too, and maybe, maybe they'll get some sense. Longtime fans probably change their uh, values as well. As we grow older, we get wiser, at least we should. Dylan changed from being acoustic to electric. If they're really fans, they'll, they'll see change. Some of them will desert the group because they want that and they, want, they don't want to grow along with their, their idols, so to speak. It all is about expressing themselves as artists. So if that's where they want to go, to me, the fans should support them. Okay, so when we cover bands, we often like to ask this. If Bring Me the Horizon came on tour, would you want to see their concert? Oh, God, no, never, never, never. I would never go see them. I wouldn't give them two cents. I don't think so. I don't know if my ears could take it. My ears are already ruined by rock and roll. I have no interest in hearing them or seeing them or witnessing anything that they do. Yeah, I would, I would, I would go see them. I don't know if I'd pay, maybe if you paid. Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and, wait, I can't hear anything anymore.